I'm gonna ask away from my wife to get here and then um, we'll, I'll say a few words. But first and foremost, thank you for coming on out. Uh, I really appreciate everything you have done. Oh, and I do want to recognize uh, currently we have my colleague who was just elected, Sasha Moreno. So she's the mother judge for the show as well. But um, I have to also recognize um, one mother colleague that got elected as well, and he just got sworn in is Michael Orozco. Orozco. He's constable out of precinct five. Okay, so. We're, um, it's food over there, all right? So go ahead and start eating that, I mean, because it's not going to eat itself. <laughs> um, um, and once my wife get here, we'll kind of go ahead and pick it on up, so I want to do, do a few more introductions, okay? And if anybody, if you haven't already, I know most have already done If you want to donate, um, let me know. I have um, some information you can go ahead and fill on out. Um, and I think that's really about it. But let's go ahead and eat, be merry, um, and, and let's fellowship, okay? All right. First, I want to say thank each and every one of you. Um, there's a lot of people that um, are not here that have been on the campaign, um, and you know they they've contributed in, in the way that they have. But I just want to go ahead and say I appreciate everybody who actually is here from taking their time out to come here because you could be anywhere in the city of Dallas, but you came here to with me tonight. So well, uh, this is actually a celebration because, of course, you know I have won my election really back. Back in March um, of 2018, um, and I want to first and foremost let you guys know that this, I would not be standing here, all right, if it was not for my wife right there, right there. <laughs> um, literally, people ask why I run for this position, why, 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 you know, I understand it, but um, the election thing was going on, and me and my wife was sitting there, and we were talking, and all of a sudden, this seat came available, and I actually had my eyes on this seat um, years back. And if I know, I used to serve as the mayor pro temp for the city of Glen Heights on council, so, um, you know, we, we know the process. So, actually, uh, I was talking to her one day, and Brandon B, and we was sitting around, and, and we talked about it, and these seats were coming up, and I said, well, babe, I really said to you, what you think about this position? And she said, go ahead and run, and I support you. And so... When she did that, when she did that, they gave the green light to go. And so from there, like literally, we had two weeks. Was it two weeks? Two weeks to get signatures. Um, you know, because you got to go through the judicial process, the petition process, type of stuff. Get two weeks. And we pulled it off and got those signatures. And then was able to file and everything like that. Now, I'm going to let you know, when you run for these public offices, you will get scrutinized, attacked, and all that type of good stuff. It just comes with it. You know, I'm used to that. But from there, um, we had literally little resources to work on, all right? Most people run and have these big campaigns and all these races, and they're running $40,000, $30,000. We didn't have that. We worked with what we had, and we worked hard. Literally, and I remember this, I went to a, a, a party. I went to some event. 
I think it was the Dallas Stone Hall Democrats or whatever it was. And I was talking to this Hispanic guy and he was telling me, hey, you know, free to win, you got there, you need to go ahead and, and um, knock on by the doors. Pick the doors today. And I got it, and I was listening to it. And so, anyway, as everything kind of progressed, I literally was knocking on doors every day. Anytime that I get off of my job, I knock on doors. And then um, what happened is one day I wound up going to an endorsement meeting. People don't understand. We go for the candidates, we go to different endorsement meetings so you can get an endorsement to help you sometimes get some help, some funding, and things like that. So, of course, I went to all of them, but they endorsed my candidate, but you know, I'm not worried about that. But one of those meetings that kind of stuck because one uh, of the interview was like, hey, he said, how are you going to do the campaign of London Funds? And I'm like, well, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to knock on about uh, 50 doors. Or, you know, I mean, I got one wall told. And so, and he looked at me, he was like, well, that's impossible. But let me go ahead and tell you, though. I didn't knock on just 50 doors. I knocked on about 80 to 100 doors a day. Okay? So I'm a living witness. It doesn't matter what people say you can and can't do. I can make it happen. I literally knocked on about 100 doors, knocked on about 4,000 doors between the city of DeSoto, the city of Cedar Hill, some of Duncanville, some of Grand Prairie, even my opponent's territory. I went on his street. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> and I, I like that. I, I will knock on your door. But, you know, literally I knocked on so many doors and I heard so many stories about things going on. And I do also do want to recognize a lot of people who actually helped on the campaign because not only did you run with the campaign and so Ms. Moreno, which is my other colleague who just won, but we'll talk about her in a second. You know that it takes a lot of resources, a lot of people, because not only you have you have early voting to go, you know, it's about two weeks, right? So you gotta have people and bodies up there at these different locations. I mean, we're working with a bare minimal, like three people here and there. But I do want to acknowledge uh, my mom right here, Ms. Betty Jones. That's my mom right there. She was at the polls with my signs and putting them people's face. And say, well, <laughs> <laughs> nicely done. I've never done that before. <laughs> <laughs> so, mama was out there working. When it was cold, mama was working. All right? My niece, right there. Right there. Her name is Lisa. You know, I ain't gonna tell you the thing that was Lisa. She really uh, was working the polls. I mean, doing her thing. And I have a few right here in front of me. Ain't Tony, right here. She came out. Rory, <laughs> Toya, I mean, who else is over here doesn't post? But the thing is that we had a lot of people, and I saw these candidates, I'm going to keep it brief because I know I'm talking a long time, but a lot of candidates was paying people to do things to polls, and guess what, they was wasting their money because these people were sitting down, they wouldn't really push them. I'm going to tell you, my family and people who supported me, they was out there, and they was pushing them cars. People had nice cars and stuff. I'm going to tell you, we, we made copies. <laughs> you see, they made copies and we made that stuff work. But anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up because I really, really appreciate you guys. Um, and I'm going to just say a few things. That, I mean, um, right now we say, why'd you run? Why'd you run? Um, if anybody know me, I'm more of a guy to kind of get out there and get it. Um, if I see things is wrong or broken, I like to fix it and make things better. I got a background. Um, in government with the city of Dallas, 10 years. Uh, background in real estate, about 10 years, where I went and went from company, got my own company. Um, background in mediation, uh, several different degrees and things. I'm not even gonna name that stuff off, but the fact of the matter is I invested into myself. And then when people, when you invest in yourself, people realize that and they look at that and then, they, and then it helps them out as well. Uh, I just wanna recognize a few more people. Um, uh, my man, Austin Kelly, city of Dallas native. Yeah, that's City Glen Heights as well, Commissioner. The man right here, C.W. Whitaker, one, you know, C.W. Whitaker, right here, right here, you see it? <laughs> that's the man right there. He can read Dallas County Community, not Dallas County Schools District. He was a trustee over there as well. Allison Ray Lawson, the colleague who worked in Dallas as well. Literally, you know, when she was interning and stuff, no, you weren't intern. you was working on, um, she, that's my homie, high five. But, um, and actually, you know, in our promoter, she actually was one of the ones that, that owned, not owned, but you won a minority 7 Eleven. She has a 7 Eleven, y'all. Come on, this is 7 Eleven. I don't really recognize, this is my deal, but I like to recognize people, okay? And it's a blessing to be around people. All right, I also want to recognize Ms. Stephanie Bacon. If I know she's my new chief of staff, who's going to be working at the porch as well. All right? 
That's going to be my right hand right there to kind of help get things in line as we working things off. All right. My cousin Tim back there. Wave. White portion. I do want to recognize, recognize my colleagues. I know for sure Sasha Moran, she just won her election. She was campaigning about 16 of stand up Sasha. I do want to I recognize also Michael or Roscoe. Roscoe. I'm going to get it right, brother. Constable. Awesome. Awesome. I cannot forget my other colleague who was a veteran in this game, Judge Jones, right there. I see you, brother. And he came out like literally. I want to, I want to say this is commitment. I called Judge Jones about about an hour ago, right? Yeah. About an hour ago, because I had called and I was trying to reach him, couldn't get in touch with him. And I called him. He said, "Hey, I got somewhere to go." And he came up here. That's commitment, you guys. Yeah. Judge Jones been over there for about 20, 20, 20 years, twenty five years, twenty four years. He is a, he's at the Justice Peace, one of my colleagues as well. He's been here for a while. So, you know, it, it, it speaks volumes when he comes out here on such short notice, especially on a Friday when, again, you can be anywhere else, but you came here with me. All right? Uh, I can't really see anything. My eyes getting bad. Edson Hamilton, he's a colleague of mine I just met. Uh, not just met, he's a good colleague, uh, colleague of mine on the real estate side. This is a guy I've known right here, right behind him. His name is Jawan. Went to high school together. That's 15, 20 years of, you know, friendship. My sister Keith back there. Say, hey, Keith. <laughs> and my sister Yolanda. Yo, yo, we call Yolanda. Yo, yo. But anyway, I just, I'm, I'm done really speaking. I really appreciate you guys. Please know that this campaign, that we work very hard. We work on limited funds. So if you have not donated, and if you are able to, go ahead and, you know, see me over at the table. I'll get donations from you. I really appreciate it. Um, because most people raise thousands of dollars, we pay thousands of dollars. <laughs> and so we want to reduce our debt. All right. But anyway, um, we appreciate you. Uh, again, thank you so much to my lovely wife, Brandy Jones. I have to keep saying it over and over without, without her. And my kids who wasn't here, but you know, of course, you know, they can't be here with this type of setup. But they they work very hard. I want to make sure I recognize that. My boys was knocking on those left and right. We're going down the street. I had them going down that way. They were going down that way. I hop out and I go down that way. And we, I'm just, we, my kids was a very, very instrumental part on Saturday. My kids was a very instrumental part. And they, and, and I'm a serious too. My, have, my youngest, youngest son named Brandon. He goes and he has his own speech down when he goes down here to the door. Uh, could you please vote for my dad? He's uh, Mike Jones for Justin the Peace. Say it. And people take their call, they listen, and guess what? They voted. All right? So with that being said, thank you so much for coming on out. I am done talking. And now, um, if you're home or some food there, if it is not, let me know. We can refill it up. I want you guys to, to enjoy um, this celebration, this victory happy hour. And please, thank you so much. And also, thank the DJ as he's big out production. You know? Um, he's gonna turn up a little bit more in a second to kind of, you know, you know, if you want to do electric slot, whatever you want to do, it's on your own business, all right? You know, but uh, he's gonna turn just a little bit more, you know. But we want to fellowship and keep things going. Thank you so much. God bless you. Yeah, that's it.